There we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Happy Easter. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Easter Sunday. <laughs> um, we are somewhere else. We thought we'd sh we'd show you around in a minute. Uh, give you a quick tour. Um, we've gone away for a few days. We were away for the week. Um, our daughter Ellen is arriving on the train at nine o'clock. So <laughs> either I'm gonna I'm, I'm all steamed up. <laughs> either I'm gonna have to go early, or we might end the stream early. Not sure whether we yeah. can both go. Well, if you're okay to pop down, we'll see how we feel at the time. Um, so we don't have a guest on this week. We have been getting in, back into the habit of having guests on. That's our new kind of Sunday thing, but. We but hadn't it, arranged anything. We're away and it is Easter Sunday and other people are doing things. And yeah, you know, so, we just... so we thought we'd do a QA and a and we will show you around. Oh, this hood is going to annoy me. I must take this off and then that can sit back. <laughs> um, but I wanted to quickly show you Jeff. Jeff's settled in, right? If he comes around here. <laughs> he's found a beanbag, haven't you? Huh? He does have his own bed, but he'd prefer to sleep in the big bag. Yeah, look, it's all your fans, Jeff. He's also had a bath, so he's actually really fluffy and he's had a little bit of a trim, haven't you? So he's found that bean bag and made it his. <laughs> right, do you want to do a little tour? If, well, just just to the ground floor, we don't have to go upstairs. Yeah, so. we're in a townhouse. This is the lower ground. You can see the stairs that come down. Uh, it's a three-story townhouse. This is the lower ground that they've converted to be the kitchen, dining, and a really nice cozy living room here. Yeah, very nice. The guy that owns this, I think he's got our taste. And there's uh, a lot of music references. There's Cure posters. Um, I yeah, think there's some tapes in the drawer, sort of. Yeah, you know, lots of art gallery, and... art gallery posters and. Yeah. We like his we, we his like taste. his taste very much. <laughs> yeah. So this is a little there's a lower ground entrance actually here, which is underneath the steps up to the ground floor. If you know what a Victorian townhouse is, it's one of them. So yeah, really nice. Quite like this as well. Little bookshelf. It's got fireplace down here. I don't know if that's the original. It is actually. It's got the original Victorian. Great and everything in there. Yeah. And then there's Jeffrey again. <laughs> oh, there's another fireplace here, but this doesn't look like an original one, but that's been put in there. These are the stairs up to the main house, but I don't think we'll take you around the whole thing. And then this is a rear extension. Yeah, it's a bit steamy in here because I've just put the plaster. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have dinner afterwards when Ellen gets here, so the, the pasta we're going to probably reheat. But yeah, so this is a rear extension, yeah. modern, quite fresh and clean. We like it. Very nice. And normally when you go to an Airbnb, you get a little welcome, something like that. This was next level. I actually put it on Instagram. They left us, well, I'm actually currently having one of these brew dogs. They left us four brew dogs. A bottle of champagne was it the champagne they left yeah, well sparkling wine anyway that's just some empty type stuff <laughs> one of these and then more nibblies than them you can shake a stick at they've given us waitrose biscuits for cheese where's the cheese there were loads of cheese wasn't there yeah it's in the fridge what is this now andrea's vegan aren't you see so yeah <laughs> this is from me and ellen what is this Somerset Brie. I mean, hello. Yeah. And well, we haven't actually said where we are, have we? No. Uh, but that the sign behind you might give it away. It's our favourite place. <laughs> We're quite predictable. We love it down here. So anyway, we've got loads of cheese and crackers. And if that wasn't enough, they've left us some cream eggs. Some chutney to go with the cheese and crackers. And then... Oh, Ellen will be excited about those. She loves those. Does Ellen like these? Yeah. Why? Ellen might have these then. She can take what we don't eat home with her. And some shortbread. I mean, that's honestly yeah. way he, beyond. He, he did say he was going beyond because there is the scaffolding. They're doing work on the on the chimney. 
so there's scaffolding around the house and he said oh, if you don't mind I'll give you a bigger welcome pack <laughs> so <laughs> we were like we, we don't mind it's fine no we're not bothered at all what no. the you know scaffolding up hang on I need to clean you is that better not really Anyway, so that's a quick guided tour just of the ground. There's a nice little courtyard as well, but we can't really show you that in the dark. No. We did go out there earlier. Yeah, it's yeah just been out, sniffed it. Right. Let's nice. say hello to some people in the chat. So we don't have a hall, although we did go to a big yard sale event yesterday. Um, and bought some stuff. We met up, we met up with Chris and Catherine. Mm. I don't know if Chris is in the chat. Um, oh, I sent Chris a picture of the lava lamp, it. and I've said oh, he can have it. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, scrolling back to the beginning. So yeah, we yeah, thought. There's Chris being it. There he is. Oh, Chris in. Yeah. Oh, I made you a wobble. Sorry. Hi, Chris. <laughs> um, yeah, it's lovely to catch oh, up with Chris. Turn up on the furniture. I'm just going to go and get a blanket. Are you trying to get on the sofa, Jeffrey? I'm not really sure he's allowed on the sofa, so we're going to put one of his blankets down before we start chatting. You're going to have to lay on a blanket, a Jeffrey. You're a monkey, aren't you? Yes. It's all very well saying to get down, but you'll only get up again. We allow him on the sofa at home, so it's very hard to tell him not to when we're somewhere else. Well, right, so a few hellos. Uh, yeah, hi, Elaine. Happy Easter. Hello again, Chris. Uh, lovely to catch up yesterday. Pete's in. Hello, Pete. Good evening, Anne. Yes, we're very well, thank you. Hope you are too. Mark, hello. Hello, Laurel. See, Blaney's with us. Lurking while waiting on dinner to cook. Yeah, we've just finished cooking ours, but we didn't have time to eat it. So we're going to wait till we picked up Ellen and have a late one. Mm. This is quite nice. Brew okay. dog. Our brother in law. Sofa covered. Ellen really likes brew dog, doesn't he? Yeah. Right. So we don't have a haul because all of the stuff's at home that we did pick up. Um, so we'll do, we just answer some questions and chat to you. So if you've got anything you want to ask or just chat about, then fire away. Uh, I'll say a few more highs. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Happy Easter, everybody. I can give you a haul. I bought this jumper yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At the uh, jumble trail. It doesn't come with the collar. It well, does, that does and match. That's a underneath. <laughs> um, so a few more hellos. Deborah, welcome. Once loved treasures. What's this? Did you see Cookie and the Hayden's bubble wrap video? No. Have I seen haven't it? seen it, but I have heard about the controversy. This the is bubble wrap. the con the controversy. The controversy. <laughs> Forty meters short. I mean, that is that's pretty extreme, isn't it? 40 metres. What, out of 100? I hope that wasn't a 100 metre roll that was 40 short. That's nearly half. I don't know. I haven't seen the video. But wow. I think uh, Married to Selling had the same issue as well. Yeah, I did see that, that um, they put a video out yeah. about it. Yeah. It's like an expose, isn't it, in the community? Panorama. <laughs> Panorama. It'll be on Panorama next. Bubble wrap, shortage. Oh, it gives you, um, sorry, I'm just in distru distracted, I can't speak, um, gives you instructions on heating, because I think it comes on automatically, but you can overly, override it. We'll experiment with that. So, yeah, we're away for the week um, until Friday, are we? And yeah. We're going back, yeah. and Ellen's coming to join us for a few days, and she's got to go back to work. She's got a new job. And we've got the neighbours looking after the house for us. Yes, we have neighbours looking after the house. <laughs> Roped them in. Anyway, a few more quick hellos. And then if you've got any questions, pop them in. Because we've got nothing else to talk about. We've done the guided tour of downstairs. <laughs> Odd Lizard, welcome. Chris, Pat. 
Oh, Jack. You're, it, it's on its, no, that's, you're not the same person. No. That's, that's not that's Jack somebody came different. back. Um, Jack, you wanted to buy, now, what was it? Um, the wooden bowl. We did, I did reply to you, so check your spam, <laughs> because it might be in the spam. If you, I, I did reply to you, and I didn't hear back, so I assumed you'd changed your mind. We still have the bowl, so if you want it, it's yours. But, um, yeah. yeah, just um, have a look in your spam. Um, hopefully you'll find our bank details and then, but obviously we can't sort it out to a home next week. But if, if not, it's not a biggie, but yeah. if you do still if you want have changed it, your mind, that's fine. It, it's yours. If you want it, put it that way. Um, right. I'm trying to get down to the weather shocking Southeast next week. <sighs> yeah. It's not great today. We came down in the drizzle. Yeah. Oh, no. Although I did go out for a walk briefly and it was quite nice. But you know, we don't have a crystal ball. We can't tell ahead of time. No. Can we? Um right, I'm catching up in the cat in the in the in cat, cat in the chat. <laughs> oh Kate's in. Hi yeah. Kate. Look, I mean the temperature. Jeff Lena's right. picture. Look. Oh. Hello, Kate. Now talking of auction purchases, a long time ago you purchased something from us in an auction and we didn't have your address. And I tried messaging you all over the place. Is that Kate? And yeah, and just couldn't get your address anywhere or get in touch with you um so i ended up refunding you so <laughs> so i hope that was all right but i i just couldn't get in touch with you so we didn't know where we were going to send it mm. um yeah uh chris we are in our favorite little haunt of ramsgate in thanet in kent yeah just so everybody knows um if you do buy anything from us anytime and you've bought from us before, you know, for, for um, what do you call it, data protection reasons and also because our inboxes fill up, we don't keep emails and we certainly don't keep addresses. So if we have your address, then, you know, generally we, we don't keep it because it's, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, don't just assume, I bought something from you for, before, so you know all my details and you know where I live because we don't <laughs> and quite often even if we had still got that email because we've been talking to you a lot we probably would find it difficult to find <laughs> so we tend to try to keep on top of it and just delete all of our emails as they yeah as we deal with them and then yeah so well <laughs> we're not that organized anyway and our inboxes are chaos so yeah we don't keep track of it but yeah um hi porkies good to see you uh, let's get down to the bottom. See if we've got any questions or topics we can Paul chat Rose about. Says, Looks great, guys. Wish I was. Wish I was with you. <laughs> it is a very nice house. It's we've not been here long. We've we've explored. Um, it's been really nicely finished, and the decor is is to our taste. I mean, if you just look behind here, you've got a, a cure tour poster, and then these really nice sort of pop lots art of images. Pop art, yeah. There's lots of. Um, around the rest of the house as and, well. And various vintage bits as well, which is really nice. Yeah, so, some really nice and, stuff. And I think, because I think the guy that has rented it to us, this is his house, mm. um, and there are coffee pots galore, you know, vintage ones and all kinds. And Honestly. he obviously, obviously collects coffee pots. So that was the first thing I went for. I was looking at all the coffee pots and looking at the mates. I think you found, what, seven? <laughs> Yeah. cafetiers <laughs> in the kitchen it's like you, you come away on holiday and i'm just um, fascinated by the coffee pot <laughs> he likes his coffee and i think he collects cafetiers yeah um okay uh what have we got here go to the airfix museum and it says oh we've never done that before we haven't we could do i don't know if it's my thing <laughs> I mean, yeah you, we're not you took us to the train museum in york once yeah, me and Ellen had a great time. <laughs> I love a museum, right? We don't mind a museum, to be fair, but I, I don't know. It's, There's a cool, um, like, computer museum here in Ramsgate, isn't there? Do you remember we walked past it? Is it like technology museum? Um, we haven't really planned the trip. We just knew we wanted to get away, um, and we just booked an airbnb and went so we haven't really planned what we're doing we're, yeah. we're thinking we're gonna yes i'm here says chris <laughs> yeah we we thought we're gonna show an 
Ellen's not been to Ramsgate for a long time. She came with us, you were thinking like 10 years ago or something. Mm. Um, so we're going to show Ellen the town. She's not been to the giant weather spoons. This Ramsgate has the biggest weather yeah. spoons in the world. She, the last time she was here, it wasn't there. And it's a nice one. It's a it's a 1920s it's an old um, pavilion. Yeah. Well, and, it was a theatre at one point. And they yeah. put it back to how it was then. It's it's quite an amazing place. Yeah. So we're gonna... Oh, I just highlighted Tony's oh, go on. Um, question there. Hi, guys. I'm thinking of taking my pet to an Airbnb. Is it a good idea? And how do you feel? Mm. Um, yes. Jeff um, is very reactive. So any kind of noise like with her travel lodge, you might have seen my video on it. Travel lodge is... Um, pet friendly and we tried to take him to a travel lodge once and we didn't sleep a wink and that is not even an exaggeration because <laughs> he could hear people coming into other rooms you know travel lodges are on a long corridor right he could hear doors going so he was barking all night all night whereas here in a ha in a normal house he can settle yeah yeah so um, we choose a place that yeah. is you know it's it's individual it's not in yeah, so actually, we've stayed in flats, haven't we? And it's mm -hmm. been fine. Last um, time, we, we, we did do an Airbnb in Ramsgate, and it was just the one floor of a bigger, like a grand townhouse, and we had one floor of four, didn't we? Yeah. So that was like a flat apartment. Yeah, that was all. Oh, yeah, that was in Hastings, wasn't it? No, that was here in Ramsgate. Oh. I was You're thinking, thinking of, of a different one. one. Yeah, sorry, I was thinking of... Yeah, the, that was like the third the, the Duke, floor. Duke of Wellington's... Yeah place headquarters or something but going back to the question tony uh just check on airbnb if they are pet friendly yeah you, can, some are, you some can filter your search yep. and you can you can put in how many people are going and a pet and then it will bring up dog friendly places for you yeah so yeah there are lots of places that are dog friendly now. we we love airbnb but there are other and there are other options and we've used what's yeah, the other one verbo? Uh, we've used verbo we've used cottages.com for yep um there are lots of places but yeah did we use cottages.com for the Cornish one? I think. Oh, I don't know. No, that, that was a, Airbnb. Was that Airbnb? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I remember what we used that for. Ah, that's what I was talking about, Jake. Yes, we've walked past that a couple of times and that piqued oh, my yeah. interest. So I'm going to, I'll have to yeah. Google it and see when they're open. Yeah, I'd be interested it's in that. Tiny little place. Airfix, not so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh was great hello, to Catherine. <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah it was really good wasn't it it was really nice to catch up with them and sit in a it's sit in the sunshine in a pub garden yeah <gasps> it's amazing we we were overheating in the car there was sun <laughs> and we were like you know layered up yeah i went in a winter coat and everything i had to strip up not literally strip everything off but i had to take a few layers off in the car um yeah, it was an interesting one. It was um, well based around March on the Fens, and there were mm. three or four villages that had yard sales and March, yeah. and we didn't get round. There were hundreds and hundreds of, of, of stalls. We yeah didn't manage all of them. And we didn't really find a lot, um, but we did fill up a couple of crates with stuff, I suppose. I'd got the mother load of media. Um, I nearly bought everything they had, and it was did. about a thousand. It was a huge collection. I think you were there for a good half an hour, maybe even forty-five minutes at this one stall. No, it I was went for no, a walk it wasn't. With Jeff, I was having a chat with some um, a lovely couple that we we met as well that uh, watch our videos. Yes. Um. So we we were having a chat there, and I was having a chat with the lady that owned the house. Uh, we were there for a long time. Well, <laughs> let me give you some context. We we. Got to the stall and they had fruit crates laid out and it was all CDs and I, I got chatting. Sadly, the lady had lost her partner, her husband. He was a huge music fan and a mm -hmm. collector. And she was just she she was at the point where she just needed to clear out stuff. So I said, Oh wow, okay. And I actually said, <laughs> Have you got a price in mind for all of it? And I kind of wish I'd just bought and all of it. At that point, I looked at the car and I thought, hmm, I don't know if it's they're going to fit all of that in. It's about a thousand CDs. Anyway, whilst they were kind of umming and ahhing about do they want to sell it as a job, blah, 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 I, I started going through and I picked out £30 worth 
at 20p a CD, however many that is. About 150, I think it worked out. Yeah. Um, and then I paid for that. And she said, well, what were you going to offer on the lot? I, and I said, well, I was going to offer you 50. And then she was kind of keen for me to just take the lot for 50. I wish I had because I left a lot of money on the table there, I think. Yeah, well. I went, I went through it a little bit last night. There's 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 a lot of sort of 10, 15 pound CDs in there, a lot of Northern Soul stuff, collections, really interesting stuff. It's great. I love it. Yeah. Um, um, Hannah says, how many Easter eggs did you get? Well, I you ended up with four. You bought yourself a vegan friendly one. Where is I that? They're, they're around there. Oh. Um, I bought Nick one. And I bought myself one, and I bought Ellen one. <laughs> so, oh, and Ellen got the biggest bar of chocolate in the world ever. Yeah. So that's in her gift bag. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, every single year, every single year, Nick says, oh, I didn't get you an Easter egg. <laughs> oh, we'll have to sort that out. I'll have to get you an Easter egg. I've learned this. I just buy myself an Easter egg now. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the amount of years I've gone without an Easter egg, I've bought everyone well, else one, and I think, no, I'm going to buy myself, and then I can just choose. <laughs> in my slight defence, not that, not that I have any defence in this, but to try and find a vegan Easter egg, it, it was relatively easy it's in very, Hitchin. It's very easy everywhere. Well, that came from... Not um, in our little village. That came from the not. supermarket, on the su supermarket shop. <laughs> um yeah, I was, I was yeah. going to say something, and I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, okay. Um, yes, Darren, I did. I did enjoy the the mushroom. Oh, uh, I know what I was going chat. to say. Then when we got here, you said, "Oh, you bought yourself one." Oh, I didn't need to buy you one then. And I, and then you said, "Um, when I said to you, oh, well, we can go somewhere and I'll get you one,' you said, "Oh, yeah, okay." And I said, "Well, yes, I, well, I don't mind having two. That's multiple fine. eggs. You would like to buy me an Easter egg. I'm not going to say." No. You have a pile of them. <laughs> even, though <I'm, laughs> even though I've already bought myself one. You can have more than one, can't you? <laughs> See, Hannah had four. Four? I do miss that. I do. Well, I miss my nan for, for every reason under the sun. But um, I miss the fact that she used to buy me an Easter egg. She was the only person that, as an adult I still used to get an Easter egg from was my nan. <laughs> Oh, I've just, I've just got ahead in the chat. It was 100 metres, 40 metres short. Now, that wow. fair enough, Chris, for highlighting that, because that's outrageous. Yeah. I mean, the weights and measures people need to get onto this. Right? <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Um, I'm going to have to watch that video. That question I was just going now? back. I was just going back to here quickly. Um, Tor Toranmore, is it? Um, Hi, the studio pottery plate you bought and was shown briefly in your video, Too, too Much, much stuff. stuff, is a Winchcombe standard pottery. Okay. Do you know what that is? What they're referring I to? No, I can't think what that was. Because that video was a while ago, wasn't it? Okay, shall I try and screen grab that? Yeah, and we'll, then we'll look back. Thank you for that. We'll I will screen grab the back. comment and then I'll look at it later and go, what's that about? Yeah. Um, thank you. Tony, hello. How do you feel about Take Pet to Where... Oh. Yeah, I think we already answered that. Covered that. Um, yeah. Well, I'm so um, far behind. Nat has got a question there. Go on then. Um, uh, if you could only go to one charity shop or to boot sales, which would it be? Boot sales. Oh. Yeah. Out of charity shops and boot sales, definitely. Boot sales all day long. Yeah. And Will wants to know, what's your favourite Easter egg? I don't know that I have a favourite. You bought me, um, what was it? Um, Kit Kat. Kit Kat one, but it had little rabbits. Oh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I share one of the little rabbits. They're really nice, the little rabbits. Yeah. You have to bite their head off, so if no. you don't mind that, it's fine. Um, I do like white chocolate, but too much white chocolate can be a bit much, so I like a bit of both. We had an amazing gift of white chocolate, didn't we? Who was yeah, that? From Sue. From Sue. I've had you more, we, you. <laughs> more white chocolate than, than I, I had an amazing I've gift of Hornsey. Hornsey, I've been to, uh, corrected because I I do mean to say Hornsey, but I just, it comes out as Hornsey. Um, yeah, Sue sent me some lovely Hornsey mugs. 
<laughs> Sue, if you're watching, you are far too kind to us, far too generous. Um, um, yeah, right. I don't know if I've got a favourite one. I haven't tried enough of the dairy-free ones to know if, what my favourite is yet. <laughs> Hello. From Belgium. Hello, right. to, hel hello to you in Belgium. <laughs> Question for Andrea. Would you pick up so many breakables if you had to package them yourself? Yeah, I would. I would. I can package. I'm very capable, but Nick tends to do all of that and he is very good at it and he's very quick. So I would, I'd be overly fussy, take way too much time. <laughs> I, you would. I would. It would take you an hour to do a teapot, <laughs> yeah, honestly. I would. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jason says, just joined. Are you back in Ramsgate again? We are. Yeah. Yes, we're in an Airbnb. Yeah. Oh, we're Jack says, yes, I still want I still want to buy my bowl. I did check spam. Okay. Can I will try. All right. Send me another email. Well, what about a message on Insta? If you can do Insta, yeah, that's probably Insta, easiest. Ping a message on Insta. Insta to either of us and we'll, we'll sort it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all, I don't know if, there, if you put links in below on this video, but generally below our videos, all of our links are below there. Yeah. Not this in one. In the description box. I'm going to pour another beer. I can't eat. I can't drink yet because I've got to go and pick up Ellen. <laughs> Shame. I know. Uh, Wind Blue says, as resellers, what do you do about building a pension? That is a good question. It's a very good question. Uh, we don't have one. We chose yeah. not to have one. Um, we yeah. Well, we'll touch on it briefly. Um, a long time ago, we made the decision when we had the high street shop and we were earning, comparative to now, we were earning an awful lot of money comparative to what we do now we made the choice to pay off our house and so we've always thought that at some point in the future we could downsize that and get a lot of money out and also we are still working on the idea of making our property earn us money through an airbnb hence we're in an airbnb it's research <laughs> um yeah but we don't have a pension but we do want our property to earn us money um yeah. Yeah, we are thinking forward and we're thinking long term. And maybe in our later years, we will downside, downsize and take a lot of the equity out because we have 100% equity. We can cash that in. Mm. Yeah, but it's it's a good question about pensions and we've never invested that way. No, I do have a very small pension with WH Smith because I used to work for them. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, somewhere um, I've probably got a tiny bit in the police pension fund. I paid Probably, into that for like. You find that. How, long, how long was I paying into that? Not a great deal of time, but there'll be there'll be some money floating around somewhere in that mode. Uh, Jane's got a question. Have you tried putting a video up on your pics? I have done it, but it always says it's failed. I've not. You mean putting a a video instead of a picture on eBay? Is that what uh, we're talking about? Oh, okay. I've not experimented yet, and I, I keep meaning to, and I'm always so in a rush, I don't do it. I've done it on Etsy, but not on eBay. You can add a video on Etsy? Yeah. Oh. I, okay, I'll try and have a go, and I'll try and make a video about my experience of putting a video on eBay. I need to have a play with that. Yeah. To be honest, I can't be bothered with it. I've taken off pictures. <laughs> anyway. But it's a quick way of showing every angle of a thing, yeah, isn't it, when it you is. think about it? Or if you've got something that... Oh, Jason says, I'll keep my eye out for you this time in Ramsgate. <laughs> is Jason from Ramsgate then? I can only assume. I think you've said that before, haven't you? Oh. Um, Hi, Neil. Oh, Kate. Thanks. I got the refund. Didn't realise you didn't get my address on PayPal. No worries. Um, I should check my emails. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Kate. Sorry that of all the confusion there. It's fine, Kate. Don't worry about it. Is that a mini TV behind you? Yeah. Oh, it's a cool. It's like a 1980s or 90s Philips TV cassette radio combi. It's the coolest thing. And this guy looks like he's, he's a bit of a music nerd. He's got some cool stuff. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Sue. Um, will you be going to the local charity shops this week? 
I don't know. We might, we might not. Of course um, we will. <laughs> well, we didn't last time, to be fair. Last time we came we on not? the weekend, we didn't go in any charity, charity but, shops. But we're here for quite a um, bit longer. Yeah. We may do. We, we might take do, a stroll up we to the Emporium. We were talking about, like, you know, going and visiting other places as well yeah. while we're here. So I don't know. The answer is, oh, watch this space. I would say chances are yes. Yeah. Oh, Chris says, nice seeing us on the charity warehouse video. Oh, excellent. Yes. Good. Question. Um, has there ever been a line of products that you've thought about getting into but haven't experimented with yet? Has there ever been a line of products that you thought about getting into? I'll tell you what we did discuss branching out into once, and that was T-shirt printing quite a while oh, ago yeah, we did talk about that designing our own t-shirts and getting a little um or two or three screen printers and doing that we just decided that it wasn't right for us that was quite a few years ago um so that's something we looked into and i i was researching getting screen printing setups and the costings and all of that we got quite excited about the idea and then it just didn't develop um yeah. Um, Neil, hello, Neil, says, is Ramsgate near Rye or is my geography rubbish? Uh, rubbish, Neil. How how near? Um, it, I've just looked it up. It is an hour and 16 minutes away. <laughs> We're not really near Rye. Rye is more, it's Hastings Way, isn't it? Yeah. It's... Ramsgate is right on the tip of, as you come out in yeah the sticky outy tip in Kent. We're right on the, yeah. the very so end. We're near Margate, Broadstairs. Um, that's pretty much it sandwich deal yes yeah all around there uh marilyn asks do you have promoted listings over there do you use it if so we do have promoted listings you use it i've decided against it <laughs> i used to use it but i found there's no difference so i'd rather keep the money <laughs> so, <laughs> to put it bluntly <laughs> I still put I'm tending these days to put kind of a flat three percent on um whether it's just an added fee really or what I don't know but I, I do put it on but a lot of my stuff is much more competitive because I do the board games media electronics um whereas yours are more kind of one-offs yeah sometimes yeah so I think that that makes the difference yeah maybe yeah it's personal preference all of that stuff really um what's this i act this is paul i accidentally or by glitch not sure deleted all my old emails prior to 20th of february around four and a half thousand I hope there's nothing yeah, important that, that's in there. what i was thinking it might might have been a relief in some ways but <laughs> Yeah, not if you've lost things. We're in Ramsgate, Kent, James. But you probably heard that already. Uh, hi, Tony and Jill. Oh, thank you, C. Blaney. Looking lovely and relaxed. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, hopefully no leaky toilets in that weather spoons. Yeah, they weren't last time, so <laughs> let's hope not. Oh, is that in reference to the meetup? Yeah. That was quite a thing, yeah. And if you don't know what we're talking about, the last time we organised a meetup in Hitchin, something happened in the toilets and it was raining through because the toilets were above where we were. Yeah, they had a bit of a leak, shall we say. It was raining through the ceiling. <laughs> it was very unpleasant. Yeah, it was very odd. And they cordoned off a whole part of the pub. You're not hopping off the channel on a beer run, are you? <laughs> no, I'm going to get Ellen. <laughs> We, we have supplies and these, if you weren't here at the beginning, these were kindly left by the uh, Airbnb. So this was part of our little welcome pack, which was far and away the most amazing welcome pack we've ever had. Um, hello, Techno Guy from Edmonton. <laughs> hello. Uh, would you like to read that one for us? If you like. <laughs> I was just going to pour, pour <laughs> okay. the rest of my beer. While you drink. Um, uh, yeah, Hayley Beanie says, um, both, hope both well. Is Jeff with you? Yes, he's sneakily on the sofa. I've just had to cover it. Um, 
also I work at a travel lodge. If you ever come, Jeff, I'd happily cuddle him to let you sleep. <laughs> Bless. As I'm never doing that again. I'm sorry, but I, that was an absolute nightmare that night. We didn't sleep. No, I ended up. Well, you ended up getting about two hours. I, I took, you took him, him out. out. At the crack of dawn, I took him out. I just, I was like, I just, I'm not going to sleep now. Going for a walk. Yeah. And I was, and he didn't sleep either. No, well, dogs can sleep anywhere, can't they? We can't. Yeah. But <laughs> although, thank you. Although I did get, it was when we were visiting Carla, and um, I did get to Carla's in the evening, and I just kept falling asleep in the middle of the game. <laughs> We were playing silly games at Carlos, and the, the turn would get to Andrea's and somebody would have to wake you up. Yeah. Oh, dear. Not good. I was like falling asleep. Oh, can you ask me the question again? <laughs> but thank you for the offer. He is here. We did show him earlier. You might have missed that bit. What's Jason saying there? Go on. What? There's a boot sale. Oh, we've done another video on that, James. So you can, there's, there are now three videos on it. So we won't go into it again on this. I on saw this all your, can I show you what, I saw all your videos on the latest saga with eBay, right? Yeah. What's the bottom line with eBay? Did they say they would come back to you? Yeah. We've had conversations with various people now and it's been quite fruitful. Uh, they solved our problem and we are, there's, there's open lines of communication now between us yeah. and eBay about, what we think the problems are and and we're going to try and help them solve some of the communication issues they well, have. Well, we hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're keeping our fingers crossed from that one. Yeah, it's been, um, they've been very open to talking, so it's, mm -hmm. it's positive. Jason says, if you fancy a boot fair tomorrow, just Google, mm. what's that, Tilmingstone boot fair for directions. It's about 15, 20 minutes away. Tilmingstone. Okay. I'm not going to remember. I don't know that, if we're going to go to a boot sale. Really, we're trying to have, have a relaxing few days, <laughs> have a bit of time off. Yeah, we do need to chill out. It's been yeah. full on, and spend some time with Ellen because we haven't seen her for a while. Yeah. Hey, Resilla Georgie, good to see you. Uh, not been keeping up. Did you get the second follow up from the UK general manager after your initial talk? Yes, we put a video out sharing what happened in that communication and, and the conversation. We had a, a Zoom call with a chap called Maurizio, who is now the UK general manager, and chatted to him for an hour. It was really interesting, really positive. Um, and there's a video sharing the, the highlights of that on the channel. <laughs> Oh, okay, sorry, keep knocking it. This is wobbly on um, here, I apologise. Maggie says, Nick has a lot of eggs to, to give to you to catch up, Andrea. <laughs> was that Cheryl in there? It was, yeah. Oh, hi, Cheryl. Um, her, her body clock body clock's out. I mean, yeah, it's it's a bit weird one when the clocks change. Um, hello, Porkies. Um, Faye and Simon have been checking bubble wrap as well. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. It's shocking. Uh, what's your favourite flavour of ice cream? I don't know that I have one. When I was a kid, I used to really like mint choc chip, you know, the, the mm. green one, mint and choc. Um, I don't know. Have you got a favourite flavour of ice cream? I like chocolate, but obviously these days it's dairy-free. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, I do love a classic vanilla, like, just a cone with vanilla. Yeah. Can't go far wrong with that. With a flake in it. I'm old school. Yeah. What can I say? I don't quite like that, but really only for the fact that I used to push, who else used to do this? Push the flake right down into the, the bottom of the cone. So then when you finish the ice cream and you've eaten your cone, you've got chocolate in the bottom of your cone and it's like, oh. Nah, yeah. I'd just pull I it love, out and eat it. I love doing that because then you've got the chocolate at the end. <laughs> Do you remember those things that used to have like a plastic cup with a with a gobstopper in the bottom? Did you ever have them? Had ice cream in and they're in the bottom of the plastic yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah. What were they called? I can't remember now, but I know what you mean. And some, some of them had like bubble gum in. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe they were bubble gum. Mm. Yeah, not gobstoppers. Hannah says, what's the best item you found at a jumble sale or charity shop? I can never 
never remember to be honest well you found i found something amazing yesterday you found that chicken oh yeah that was a, that was a yard sale that was a yard sale yeah and i'm thinking of a yard sale yesterday um i found some really nice um danish pottery um 1960s day danish pottery, yeah um which is worth a penny or two you should have seen this last night we were sat on the sofa you were looking up your like studio pottery and going oh getting all excited and i was looking up my media my my <laughs> rare and obscure cds and going oh yeah. we were getting really excited about our tap that we bought yeah um yeah paul we already set our clocks because we drove down today so yeah i had to remind ellen and she said oh no that means i'm gonna lose sleep because <laughs> she's been working all weekend so yeah I, I've i not really played Minecraft, but our daughter was obsessed for a brief period of time, wasn't she? Mm. Um, I don't think Ellen plays Minecraft. I'll tell you what Ellen is obsessed with now, though. That's on her Switch. We bought her a Switch Lite, and she's obsessed with, um, what's it called, Animal Crossing. Mm. She still is. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to go because go I've, I've got to walk to get the car because we had to park it oh yeah far okay. away. have you well, got we'll, a car kit? we shall carry on and um chat now can you explain to me where you put it again well you know the way we came and then mm -hmm. you have to go over the road and this road mm -hmm. carries on yeah uh go over that road and then it's on the right hand side not as far as that space we saw Okay, on the right hand side. It's really hard to Top park one. here. The only <laughs> the only negative of where we are around to get is there's no parking right. at all. Bye everyone. Right. <laughs> well I'll probably still be live when you get back with her. Oh, okay. All right. Right now we can talk about Andrea. <laughs> Oh, you're live. I thought you said you weren't doing today. No, we weren't really sure what we were going to do. But here we are. Oh, I uh, don't have a key for the door. Oh. Um, what, do you want to take it? I'll bring you with me. I think the key was in the kitchen. Am I coming up to, I'll take you up here. <laughs> You've got all um, 265 people with you. <laughs> oh, oh. And then I dropped. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh, my goodness. This is the entertainment right, you now. came for. Keys. So, okay. so this, this is, that. yeah, that's the front door. This We've is the ice ground ice. floor. That's the lower ground. Bathroom in there, which is quite nice. Oh, we're doing, we're doing well, a, we might as well, yeah, a tour go. part two now. Bathroom on the ground floor, which is which is an odd design choice, I must say. Yeah, but it's probably I don't know. So you can fit in more bedrooms, I suppose. Because like traditionally that would have been a living room, but it's yeah. not, is it? It's they've done it as a bedroom. Yeah, I think what would have originally been the living room is um Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, see you in a minute. There's a bedroom here, which I think Ellen is gonna have tonight. And we're going to be up upstairs, and they've taken the fireplace out of here. I'm not sure this was how this would be how I would choose to do this, but you know. So you have to go down into the lower ground. My head, and then you've got if you weren't here at the beginning, living room, dining room, kitchen in the rear extension. Right. What's Cheryl saying? No, you wouldn't, Andrew. You'd sack off the breakables after a week. Maybe. Maybe. It is a lot of work packaging breakables. You have to, yeah, you have to factor in that. Deborah has received two large Smarties Easter eggs. Loved the spotty foil wrapping since I was a child. Yes. So mum still buys them for me. Wow. We're not really seeing all of our 
extended family's children uh, this Easter because um, we're here basically. So we sent lots of Easter eggs up and down the country. We have family in Leeds and all over down south in Worthing. And so, yeah, we sent lots of Easter eggs. Royal Mail price is going up on Tuesday. It feels like they put the prices up every other month. Excuse me. We technically could claim this as a business expense, especially if we make a few uh, YouTube videos whilst we're here and go sourcing, right? It's definitely a business trip then, maybe. Uh, the swimming bear, hello. I picked up a lovely lapid planter, the same design as the vase Andrea picked up ages ago. Was a late pickup. I wouldn't have spotted without learning from you. Thank you. I'll have to pass that on because that's all Andrea, not me. Ben, hi. Um, there will be a clip in a video that will be out probably tomorrow or Tuesday of your box of random stuff that you sent. So keep your eyes peeled. Question for you both. Will you ever retire from reselling? Um, I think we'll always dabble in it, but we have been putting things in place over the last couple of years to, um, to not rely on it and to not have to put the hours in so much. Um, so I think we will gradually reduce how much time we give to reselling. Um, I don't think we'll ever stop completely. We've, we both still enjoy it, but it is a lot of hard work if you're relying on reselling for your main income. Um, it's not an easy option. All right, let's see what we've got. What won't you sell? That's an interesting question. What won't you sell? I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what we wouldn't sell. Um, I think Andrea more so has things that she wouldn't sell on principle. Um, yeah, I, I kind of dabble in all sorts. I can't think of anything offhand. Oh, we're talking, right. The videos we're talking about here are the eBay videos, right? Sometimes you have to have a couple of goes at the videos. It seems to struggle a bit, but I've always got them on eventually. Okay, that sounds like an interesting video I could make then, experimenting with trying to make that work because I've not bothered with it so far. Um, I've tried adding a video to a listing earlier but kept failing at 4%. Videos have worked for me before, though, might just be a current glitch. Well, eBay has been horrifically glitchy for us um, recently. So maybe they've been doing work in the background. Uh, Cheryl says, bought loads today off a guy whose eBay business was shut down after 10 years trading as they wanted the same stuff they wanted off you. He had to get his MP involved it's mind boggling isn't it that they can do that if they've closed him down just because they wanted business information that's mad i mean assuming he had the information they wanted we had everything they wanted but their computer kept saying no to us and although ebay have tried to explain the reasons why all all they've really explained is they were incompetent that's all they've explained to us it's shocking really what 
what's this junk junk drunk did you notice that ebay charges you fees on the taxes they collect from the buyer i i didn't notice that no um i've got a couple of those tvs need to figure out how to receive digital signal on them what one of these <coughs> excuse me i had a tv like that in my bedroom as a kid no wonder i wear contacts today well that tv that must be like a four inch yeah it's about four by six inches let's yeah hey, i'll show you i can only assume it's working might have a play with it later it's got a handle here as well by the look of it no so it's so it's portable <laughs> isn't that cool this is a phillips so you've got a tiny little yeah roughly four by five or five or six inches and a cassette and then yeah a tuner I've never sold one of those. I am so far behind in the chat. So apologies if you put questions or comments in. Are we talking about eBay videos? We were ages ago, yes. Um, Ended and sold similar today, and the videos seem to go through okay. All right, okay. Yes, Chris, Chaz and Dave did a classic song about Margate, which is not far from here. Uh, Tamara saying, I assume you're talking about promoted listings. I've given up on it too. Um, it never seems to make any difference to my stuff. Question, would you sell on Vinted Pro? Um, quite possibly. Andrea used to sell some clothing on Vinted. Um, is Vinted, I don't really know a lot about it, but is that, it's not clothing only, is it? I think you can do homewares and all sorts. We may well dabble in it once Pro is out. Flipping Maggie, I tried 9% on some old stock and it did shift a load for me. I did a similar thing. Um, I had a load, I think it was around New Year. I had a load of stuff I just wanted to move. And instead of running a sale at like 20% off or whatever, I put promoted listings on and bumped it right up. And a lot of that stuff went and it went quite quick. So, yeah, it worked. Sue here went to a charity shop recently and got three original paintings. Uh, does that say 12 in frames, 13 pounds for all, one oil, one pastel and one watercolour? Nice. What are you barking at, Jeff? Uh, were you thinking about moving to Ramsgate when you moved from Hitchin? We did look down here. We viewed some houses here and then started looking in Suffolk and then Norfolk. And that's where we went in the end. Um, but yes, we did. We did seriously consider it. My my unread emails are currently standing at just under 300k. Really? How shall I celebrate when I pass that hurdle? What? How? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, you are correct. Yes, Weatherspoons in Ramsgate is the biggest one in the UK. I, I thought it's the biggest in the world, but it is. It's a nice one as well. We have, um, we've had drinks in there. We've had meals in there. 
it's nice and then the summer going out on the deck because it's right on the beach and it's right by the harbor it's a stunning location i i can recommend it uh which of the cd hall was the most interesting oh blimey i don't know uh there was so much in there i bought yeah i think it was about 150. there's um some really nice northern soul stuff there's some uh, special editions there's um but there's all sorts in there i think because i got some footage that day uh, yesterday so i might do a little mini haul at the end of the once i have edited that and then i'll do a little haul at the end and show some of the cds um whoever the chap was was really into his music you could tell but yeah lots of lots of cool stuff There are European bison near Ramsgate in the woods. I, I, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take that as, as fact, but I've had this news to me. Wow. Hello, Louise. Going to Weatherspoon's toilets is always an adventure. Also, do you have any advice for someone in their 20s to start reselling full time? Yeah, Weatherspoon's quite often it takes you five minutes to get to the loo. We went when we were visiting um, Caroline and Phil in who used to do reselling videos years ago in Wales. I think I can't remember where we were. It was a town in Wales and it was just it was hilarious how long the walk was to the toilets, upstairs, down corridors, up more stairs. It was just bonkers. Um, do you have any advice for someone in their 20s to start reselling full time? Um, what I tend to say is um, just be totally honest with yourself about how much you need to earn, uh, what your outgoings are, how much you need to earn, and then maybe give it a trial run. If you can take time off work or um, take some holiday and then give it a week and really work at it and see see how you feel about it and how much you think you can earn from reselling. Um, yeah, it's a big step going from part-time to full-time. It was for us and it is for everybody, I think, a big jump. I'm not trying to put you off. I, I think it's an amazing thing to do, but it is a, it's a big undertaking. So just be totally honest about how much you need to earn out of it and how much in reality you can earn out of it after all of the fees and everything. Reseller Georgie. Nick, are you going to the Isle of Wight Fest to see that band? What are they called again? Pet something. Um, I don't have tickets, no. And we saw the Pet Shop Boys down in Brighton um, whenever it was last year. It was incredible. It was top two or three gigs of my life. Um, but no, I don't have tickets for Isle of Wight. Screwball, yes. Oh, I'm so far behind. Nick, that is screwballs. <laughs> yes, screwballs. Screwball. 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 If you just joined and I'm just shouting screwball at you, apologies. Screwball. 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 The word has lost all meaning. Screwballs. <laughs> screwball. <laughs> um agrees with nick re vanilla ice cream and flakes yeah the classic is a classic for a reason yeah at the seaside on the beach vanilla and a flake uh screwballs and some of the screwball plastic cups were shaped like daleks wow and I bet if you could get hold of one now, it would have some value. If you saw that video I made on, um, what was it, Chris Packets, 
there's, there's money in stuff from our childhood that we all threw away, right? Uh, screwball, screwball. Uh, Sue says, saw a video by an American chap talking about his poor experience with whatnot the other day. Difficulties getting his money from them. Left the platform as soon as possible. Ooh, that's not good, is it? We have been given the go ahead to sell on whatnot. Um, we're going to give it a go. I'm really not sure that whatnot is for us. Um, but until we've had a go and had a mess around with it and had the experience, I, I, I don't really have an opinion. But uh, yes, we have been let on. So we will we will give it a go at some point soon. But that doesn't sound good, does it? Um, right, where are we at? John, hello. Hi, Nick and Andrea. Got the ins inspiration to try car boots and reselling. Hope you're having a nice weekend from Vince in the Northeast. Vince, is that a place? Good. Have a go. Enjoy it. Um, I've been playing Princess Peach Showtime. It's a really good game. I did... I think I watched a review on that. It looks good. I don't have, I, I didn't keep my Switch. I had the original Switch um, from launch time, but I wasn't using it enough. And then we bought, and oh, bought Andrea, we bought Ellen the Switch Lite, which she still has. But I don't currently have a console. Andrea's gone. Crack open the beers. Okay. Wow, I'm still so far behind. People's talking about ice cream. Strawberry. Nice. Hi, Raymond. I am so late. Well, go and stand in the corner and think about what you've done. Okay, are you in the corner? Good. Um, hope Andrea gets to show us those exciting ceramic finds. I'm sure she will. She was so excited about them yesterday. She knew they had, she knew they were special and they're foreign. I can't remember where they're from. Was it Danish or something? Um, and then she was looking them up last night and making all excited noises. So, yes, I have no doubt they will be in a video, probably on her channel at some point. Uh, Paul says, no, you mean that the hours in are not paying the rewards right now? Certainly not on eBay. It does feel like eBay has got tougher over the last year or so. I don't know if it's cost of living crisis or more competition as in other websites being available so buyers are going elsewhere or more competition from more sellers i don't know what it is but i think we've felt it too that it's that little bit harder to make money on ebay right now um we're still doing okay but yeah it's it's definitely not an easy option it never has been to be honest uh, flipping Maggie, I wouldn't sell fur. Anyone else have anything they wouldn't sell? That's an interesting one. I remember ages ago, Andrew had a discussion about selling leather because Andrew's a vegan, wouldn't choose to wear leather particularly. But to resell it, I think she was saying that she had the opinion once it's been made and it's out there, to resell it is just extending the life of that product anyway and possibly stopping somebody buying a new product. So she has a slightly different take on it. Um, 
Although, funnily enough, I think Andrea avoids fur. I don't want to speak for her, but I think Andrea avoids real fur as well. Reminds me of that story of a person selling human body parts on eBay. Really? I wonder what category they were using. Collectibles. Question, have you ever bought something to later learn that it can't be sold on eBay for any reason? Yes. I bought a uh, vintage 1980s electric um, carving knife, you know, like an oscillating carving knife to cut your Christmas turkey or whatever. And I did my research and searched completed and there was pages of these things on eBay. I was like, because there, there, there are issues around selling knives on eBay, but I did my research. Oh, there's loads of them. Yeah, great. Put it on for whatever it was, 20 quid or something. And I had, they took it down. They said it, it, it was against policy because it was a knife. So that was one. Um, yeah, so since we, we don't bother selling anything that's vaguely knife-like or has a blade. Hello, Rolla. It seems a lot of resellers are leaving for whatnot or doing both. This is not the right time for eBay to be mean to the sellers with other platforms available. It's an interesting time. And I think eBay are well aware that there are a lot of options to resell now. Um, we've been very open and said that we still feel eBay is the best place for our business. Um, we are gonna try whatnot. Um, and it remains to be seen how, how successful Whatnot can be as a reselling option in the UK. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting year, I think, for reselling um, as the different platforms kind of vie for the attention and, and users, right? But we shall see. Lots of chat about eBay taking taxes or not collecting taxes, etc. Um, if you've just joined, we've got 262 of you with us. Andrea was here. She has now gone to pick up our daughter from the train station and should be back shortly. Let's face it, eBay charge fees on everything. They're fee addicts. It has been said. Lots of chat about the taxes. Uh, how much does it cost to ship a package to the USA or Canada? It will depend on the size and the weight. Um, you would have to check with whoever you're choosing to send it with. Um, yeah, that, that's a question that's really hard to answer without knowing sizes and weights. Um, but if you, you can go on the Royal Mail website and they will list all their prices. Uh, similar with different couriers that you could use. Um, yeah, all that information is out there. Ah, oh, fiendish feet yogurt pots, that sort of stuff sells and it sells for silly money. Yeah, definitely. Crazy, isn't it? There's collectors out, there's crazy collectors out there for everything. Um, I've, been, I've been a collector all my life. When I was a teenager, well, even before that, I was, I was into collecting. 
anything and everything. Um, these days, I only really collect vinyl. And that's a fairly recent thing that I got back into collecting vinyl in lockdown. And annoyingly, I'm expecting a, a very expensive parcel of vinyl to turn up. And now we've come away. So I've, I've, I've put a note on our house <laughs> for the courier or Royal Mail to deliver this over £100 worth of vinyl is turning up. So hopefully they're going to deliver it to Fred, our neighbour. Um, yes, there are collectors for everything. It, it is bonkers. Um, that's an interesting thing. Will says, I've told my children to keep everything related to COVID. I have a feeling it will be worth something in a few years. You may be right. I mean, what sort of stuff are you thinking, though? Like the little test packs. Yeah. Do you think people will want that? That's an interesting one. It's so hard to predict what is going to be the collectible of the future. But the place to look is the things we all discard. If that Chris Packett video I made said anything, it's the things we all threw away. And it stands to reason, right? And also it's things that have packaging that people throw away. So keep the packaging and keep the thing in the packaging. Yeah, but it's it's so hard to predict. People often say to me, Nick, why don't you put stuff away for the future? My answer is, where does it end, right? That way madness lies. <laughs> Because you'll just be keeping everything. You know, in 20 years, this cardboard box will be worth money. But am I going to keep it? Maybe I should. I started, you know, I just said I was a collector when I was a kid. I started collecting tin cans when I was probably pre-teens, 10 or 11. And I was collecting Coke cans and all different fizzy pop cans. Because I liked the fact that they were a uniform size and shape and I could line them up on my shelves. And I built up a collection and then teenage years happened and I filled my room with records and posters and, and, and then threw them all in the bin. I wish I'd collected or kept rather what I had. And then when I was a student, when I was away at um, art college, I started collecting bottles, um, uh, Alco pop bottles, and particularly ones that had print, rather than labels, they were printed onto the bottle. I had a big collection of them. Honestly, that would be so interesting to look at now. Ah, oh, but yeah, moved out of where I was living and threw it all away. Madness. Um... Right, there's a conversation going on about the, the prices. So hopefully you've got some answers. But yeah, all of that information should be available very quickly to you through Google, right? Just Google it and you will find it. Here we go. The first box of COVID test kits still sealed is worth money now. Wow. Hello, George. Um, we are in a Airbnb. We've, we've rented a townhouse, three-story townhouse uh, for the week. Um, in Kent, we are in Ramsgate, a favorite haunt of ours. We needed some time out and we wanted to spend some time with our daughter. Andrea has just gone to pick her up from the station. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got my whatnot meeting tomorrow and then I can start selling. Not sure I'd do three a week, maybe one a month, just to clear sticky stock. Yes, we had our onboarding uh, meeting, um, which was very American, kind of, yay, everybody cheer. 
<laughs> it was quite amusing. I kind of wished I'd videoed a little bit of it, but um, yeah, I don't know how many whatnot shows we're going to do. We're certainly going to give it a go. And then we will see how we feel about it after that. It's been interesting to watch different people experiment with whatnot and those that have found it works for their business and those that have found it definitely doesn't. I mean, Lex, for example, is doing really well. We had a good chat with Lex about whatnot, and that was quite insightful, actually. But, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know. I'm looking forward <laughs> to trying it. Got a fog in my throat. Um, oh, thank you, uh, BCP. That's Andrea's channel. I was expecting Andrea back by now, by now. So whether she's got lost or she's struggling to park the car again. Paul wrote, Nick, speaking of vintage stuff, I've sold quite a few lolly wrappers. Yep. From the 70s and 80s for 70 pounds a pop. Isn't it amazing? Anything like that from, from that period. Sweet wrappers, crisp packets, as we said. Yeah, the stuff nobody kept. But the stuff nobody kept that will um, take you back to your childhood. Whatever that is, it will have value because it's it's people like me trying to buy back your childhood, right? Yeah. Amazing. As a dog behaviorist, I won't sell Caesar Milan books. That's interesting. He's the guy... He had a TV program, didn't he? I think I've watched some of those. But they go really well in the wood burner. That's a strong opinion. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's chat about eBay fees. Um, Josh, hello. Hi, Nick. Do you think the whole eBay side hustle tax <laughs> has impacted eBay for the worst in terms of buying and selling? Um, I had a, a live chat with our friend Edward from Antiques Arena. If you search Antiques Arena, you'll find his channel. We, we chatted for about an hour. I turned up late. I forgot I was on, basically. Um, there has it has had an impact as in some people it has worried some people bear in mind nothing has really changed we've always had to declare tax on earnings anyway it's another discussion um but yeah i think a bunch of people have decided they're not going to sell online particularly on ebay um because of what was announced um, so we discussed in that video that I think there will be more people selling off their, their, their reselling stock at the boot sales. So it might be a bumper year for boot sales and yard sales, people clearing out stuff because they're paranoid. They, they shouldn't sell it online. I don't know. It's an interesting one. I've had a carving knife removed before. Yeah, yeah, it's just not worth messing about with anything with a blade, um, any sort of knives. Yeah, I mean, we could go into this, but nothing really changed about tax. All that changed, if I remember rightly, is that um, the government has access to all of that data about who's selling what and how much they're selling. But the fact that you have to declare your earnings has always been the case. Mm -hmm. 
I watched Tommy Trades on Whatnot. He has so much energy. It was a good show. We talked about this with Lex that I think with Whatnot, it's very much a show and it's very much a personality driven entertainment mixed with selling, isn't it? Um, I think if you went on and you were very dry and it was just next we have this, any bids, blah, 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 you're not going to get very far. You have to make it, you have to make people have a reason to want to come back. I guess you have to have stuff that people want as well, right? Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a go. We're not quite sure yet what we're going to try and sell. But we will come up with something and, and try it out and uh, report back on what we think. I can hear the door. I think they're back. Uh, Tamara says, I still, oh, hi, Jeff. Jeff's heard the door going. I still prefer eBay, was considering adding Etsy, but so many shenanigans, great word, and no customer service. Nope. Um, yeah, we use Etsy. Um, Andrew quite likes it as a platform, but I have heard that their customer service is lacking. What a surprise. Hello? Right, so we're going to wrap up soon, I think. Andrew will be down in a minute. Macari. Now, I've heard about Macari. That's another selling platform in America, right? Just announced plans of no seller fees, but fees for buyers. Not sure that's even a good thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> Saying hi to Jeff. You've not seen Jeff for a while, have you? No, it's been like a month. Hello, I'm back. Yeah, we're going to wrap this up shortly. I've been trying to keep up with the chat. Oh, something going on at the station. Just after Ellen's train got in, like, well, when I was sitting waiting, one police car um, pulled up and then a van and then another one. And by the time we left, there were about five police cars and a van and loads of them all, sta all standing on the platform waiting. Were they, so what, I don't know what was going on. Were they after Ellen? Well, I would just worry for a minute. You know? <laughs> and plus, I parked next to the bus stop. I thought they were going kind to of tell me off for parking next to the bus stop. <laughs> you, did you get paranoid and think you parked in the wrong yeah, spot? I was like, oh, no, they've, they've radioed it in. They're going to... Move me. We, we need five squad cars. A woman's parked in the bus stop. <laughs> right. I'm going to scroll down to the end of the chat. Um, and we will think about, I, I really apologize. There's so many questions and comments that I just haven't got to. Um, but I'm at the bottom. So we will think about wrapping up shortly. Are you going to come back in in a minute? We'll do, um, we'll do words of the wisdom. You're going to put your slippers on. <laughs> um, we like to um, end our live streams on a positive note, if we can, and share some words of wisdom. And uh, you provide the words of wisdom. So if you have any, um, you can make it related to, the, to tonight's stream, if you like. Um, or just some general words of wisdom. We will read a few out and pick a favourite, and then we'll wrap up. Is the heating on? It is. It's getting chilly in here. We need the heating on. Right. So we're going to do some words of wisdom and then uh, wrap up. I've managed to park in this this part of the road now okay good but, um and it will tell you it took me about 100 goes to try oh. reverse park into it because it's such a narrow road and we've yeah. got such a long car trying to get the right angle and not crash into any other cars was some um, interesting to say the least we are now a one car family we used to have if you remember the red mini sadly that was written off 
So we now have my uh, Ford Estate, which is a lengthy car, and it's not the easiest to parallel park. So well done. Yeah, it was. Yeah. it was interesting. <laughs> we were joking that I might end up <laughs> end up on TikTok that with other neighbours. Someone <laughs> filming you out of the window. Oh, we've got a right one here. <laughs> 20.10 20. 20. <laughs> <Right, 100. laughs> um, anyway uh let's see what we've got hello gary good to see you um words of wisdom words of wisdom where are we where do they was start that about macari that i heard uh i'm not really sure that they're coming were... back to the uk well that says paul says there the macari thing is complicated and only us oh, right oh okay yeah, it was in the uk and then they, they yeah oh yes sue says uh there's another platform starting oh, up called knickknacks it's um well it's oh, what's a crazy lamp lady um but i don't know if it's it's international too, yet is it and it's also isn't it to do with if you have a bricks and mortar store no 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 stuff. no you're thinking niche Oh, niche, <laughs> <laughs> which is in America. Yeah, knickknacks. I mean, that would have been great for me as a name. Yeah, it's crazy, that lady. And um, I'm guessing the garden is secure because of It is, yeah. Yeah, the backyard is secure. Is, is Jeff out there? Yeah, he oh, okay. Uh, words of wisdom. Here we go. Nick by Andrea Easter eggs. <laughs> well, this may happen tomorrow. <laughs> We'll get back to you next year and we'll see. Next year. <laughs> um, good night, Paul. Um, words of wisdom. Would you like to read that one? Get away once in a while. You deserve it. Thank you. Yes. Well, we feel like we needed it. <laughs> yeah. We Everybody needs a break. Yeah. Uh, don't be tight. And, oh, I've been there. I don't think it's anything to do with being tight. It's more that um, you just forget. You don't. You don't think. <laughs> it required a special trip to somewhere outside of our village, yeah. and it didn't happen. Don't unfortunately. do vegan ones in the in, in our shop in the village. <laughs> no, no vegan <laughs> eggs in the village. They did have lots of Easter eggs though. Yeah, they did. We bought loads for the kids. Um. Words of wisdom. Check your emails. <laughs> yeah. There you go. If plan A doesn't work, remember there are 24, no, 25 more letters in the alphabet. Mm. Our life has been an ever-evolving plan. We're on letter. We've been through the alphabet a couple of times. That's what life's all about, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Plans are always subject to change. If you think dogs can't count, try putting three treats in your pocket and then giving him two of them. I might try that. Mm. Yeah, Jeff does know. I, I sometimes walk away and try and pretend that I because he if he thinks he's going to get another one, he does it better it does it doesn't even touch the sides, does it? It's just he just swallows it because he knows there's another one coming. So I try to walk away and pretend I don't have any more, but he knows. <laughs> uh, Borky says, weaknesses are just strengths in the wrong environment. I like that. I like that Weaknesses are strengths in the wrong environment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's deep. Where do you get these from, Borky? <laughs> That's good. Paul says, if the world is a stage, get better lighting. Nice. Yeah. Die young, but postpone it for as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> as long as, like, you know, 100 is, is young, then, yeah, I'll postpone it to them. I've got no plans. <laughs> I've got no nothing in place yet. Um, hello, Sion on the Moor. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf mm. have a good week everyone i like that yeah yes life is going to throw you curveballs or waves whether you like it or not so it's about how you deal with them it's like the old phrase it's not about how you get how many times you get knocked down it's about yeah. getting back up all the yeah. easter eggs says gary <laughs> 
Um, Neil says, Easter eggs will be discounted tomorrow. Discounted even. Um, you have no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Busman's holiday. Well, maybe. I don't know. We will end up in a charity shop or two at some point this week. I guarantee it. The Jeff one is the best one. <laughs> okay. Right. You can choose them. What do you want to choose? Oh, what did we see that we just liked the sound of then? Um, this one. Porky's one. Oh, it's gone again. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Weaknesses are strengths in the wrong environment. I really like that, actually. That's a good one to remember. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that um, stream from a new location. We'll be back to our regular Sunday stream next week. Uh, we may well have a guest at that point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know that we're going to manage to get much video content out during this week because we're here. I do have one filmed mm. that I will schedule for Monday, Tuesday. Beyond yeah. that, I don't know. I've got loads of footage on the gopro but i'm not sure i'm going to have much time to edit yeah that's it i i thought that i could get my tuesday video out but i don't think i'm going to be able to edit so i think i might be having a week off yeah it depends if if we have a lot of downtime and we're just chilling here i i might sit down and edit yeah. but um we're not going to hold ourselves to it no, so because we're on holiday <laughs> we are having a week kind of off yeah so forgive us right thank you so much for joining us hope you enjoyed that um yeah we'll see you soon um whiz over to andrea's channel and, and subscribe if you haven't yeah oh my last one was a haul so if you like a haul oh actually it wasn't a haul was it it was um it's kind of a haul it was specifically hornsy and um and what else did i do <laughs> don't be don't be thank you <laughs> I need to eat. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> right, we'll end it here. Take care. Okay. We'll see you soon. Bye. Ta-ra.